Hi guys! So, I wanted to make another video today and um, I decided why not just work in this little book. Um, I did work on a few pages, um, but I will probably show those, you know, in the future once I have a couple more. I probably did like four pages or so. Um, so we're just going to work in this one. Right here, I was actually um, testing this one out because it stopped working, so I think I need to clean it out. Okay. So, I'm just going to use my stick. Um, probably for the full page, I'm not sure. Okay, so it will be pen marker or the stress oxide sprays. So I think I will do a pen or marker. Um, okay. I really like using the sticks because it helps me use my supplies that I don't really use as much and it helps me be more creative I'm actually a little late making this video so I was watching some YouTube and then I was just doing some crafting but then when I decided to make the video there was an update on my laptop so I had to wait a little longer and so I'm gonna try to make this video not so very long So I hope you're all having a wonderful day, that you had an amazing weekend. Okay, so, so far I like how it looks. It's not obviously very much, but I like what I did here. Okay, so, stencil or embellishment. So I will use, oops, sorry, I did not mean to move you guys. Okay, so I'm going to use my Faber-Castell stencils. I had got these off of Amazon and some of the reviews were, there was like where people were upset that um, they were very thin. And that they didn't last very long, but for me, they have been working very fine. I've been using uh, texture paste on them. I've been adding paint, spraying them. So, so far, they are actually lasting pretty good. They haven't ripped yet. So, I'm happy with them. And then, uh, let me just show you guys what they are. Just in case you get interested. Just do this real quick. There's this one right here. This one. I do have to say that this one is actually one of my favorites right here. And this one as well. So we have this one. This one. I want to say this is actually one of my very least favorite. 
that I've used it once. And then we have this one. This one has about uh, three different sizes. No, two different sizes, I believe. Maybe it's three. So small ones right here, and then some. The rest are like a little bit bigger. And that's about it. Okay. So let me just pick a stencil. Could probably work with this one. Mm. Or maybe this one. Between these two, okay. Let's see. okay, so I've only used this one once, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. See if it'll tell us something else. Oh, it's embellishments. I forgot. Okay. So, hmm. Um. Let's see. I think I applied a little too much on one side. Okay. Liking how that came out. I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and dry this real quick. Okay, I am back. So I really hope that this page actually comes out because... Usually when I record a video, um, I don't really like how the, my pages come out. And when I don't make a video, it's like, I wish I would have recorded. So hopefully it comes out good. So we got gray, glitter, or watercolor. Um, so... I do have some watercolor. Let's do watercolor. I think I want to use some of my Jane Davenport paint brushes. So we'll use that one. That one. So I'm just going to I'm just going to apply wherever. There we go. Now, if you happen to work along with me, um, and if you don't have some of the supplies that I'm using, it's fine. You don't have to use the supplies I have. Just use whatever you have at home. Honestly, I'm not really liking it so far. I first I was, but now I'm not. But we're not done yet, so. Just 
put these ones back. So we got red or distressing. Mm. Let me see. I want to use I'm just going to use my sprays actually. one either but we're already using it and then okay. sorry I'm looking for a color like I don't know I feel like they all look the same I might have just ruined my page. Okay. And it's okay if the page doesn't come out how you want it. Because you can always go back to it. Um, you can eventually end up liking it if you just step away from it for a while and do something else. So acrylic paint and watercolors. So obviously I'm going to do acrylic paint. And I'm going to use some Artesa paint. chosen magenta light cobalt blue pink and yellow pill so I'm just gonna add paint just wherever pretty much Hopefully this inspires you guys to create, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, to share with you guys what I usually do when I get creative. And sometimes your page doesn't have to come out in a specific way. Just play with your paints, play with your markers, and just have fun. Like, right now, I'm not liking how the page is coming out, but I'm having fun. And I think that is one of the most important things is just letting go, playing with the page, 
seeing what happens, what comes out of the page. And learning to work with what you have. So now I did cover part of the stencil, but you can kind of see some of the stencil right here. Distress Oxide Spray or Gelatos. Um, we're going to skip that one. Crackle Paste or Napkin. Mm, I will go get a napkin and I will be right back. Okay. So I decided to use some of my Jane Davenport napkins and just so you guys can see them real quick, this is the one I already used of course, might use this one actually. I purchased this on Amazon and I think it was the last one that I bought. Um, and then when I try to go back to buy another one, they actually didn't have them again, so. Um, but I think you can buy them through, like, a third-party seller. But I'm not too sure. I've actually already used one of these ones on a page in a different journal. I think I might have showed it on here. Okay. I just use. Okay, so. I think we'll use this one right here. I kind of already ripped part of the crown. That's okay. Um, so if you don't want to rip out your napkins like this, you can always get a paintbrush and then just wet it and then just outline the area that you want to cut out and then that should help it rip off easily. And sometimes they have a second or third layer in the back. So I've heard one way you can um, remove the backing is if you apply tape, I think on the back. And then you just try to pull it and the layer should come off. And sometimes it's easy to remove without the tape. So I usually have a hard time but I don't think it was that hard right now because I've already used this napkin so it's not fully attached anymore. I could definitely cut a little bit more of it, but that's fine. I don't really need it to be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and kind of see where it's going to go.
sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm trying very hard to get this page to come out. Now one thing I have learned is not to actually directly put the glue, at least if you're using a glue stick, um, to not directly put it on the napkin because it can damage the napkin. Or at least for me, I've always had bad luck doing that. Okay. So now... Um, I'm just going to use some of these. To draw. Oop. It's too dry. Okay, so I'm definitely not liking the colors I chose for her hair. Um, but these are the colors that just stood out. I'm just going to go ahead and color the back. Okay. Not sure if I want to use this one. Let's see. No, not that one. Wow. Looks a little weird, I think. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Now I'm trying to do her crown. Not really sure what colors to use on the crown. And again, I'm just playing around with the colors, just going with the flow, not really very much thinking about um, what colors to put on. I hope you can't really hear my chair very much. I recently just got a new chair. And most likely you're going to probably hear it 
every time I move. So, or probably not, I don't know. But it's, it's a really comfortable chair compared to the other one that I used before. Like my back doesn't hurt as much with this chair. At least not as of yet. Not sure if I want to do her eyelashes. I don't think it's coming out that bad. So now I am just going to choose a couple of stickers to put on here and I will return. Okay guys, I am back. I had to choose some stickers. And it took me a while to actually figure out um, what I wanted to do. Still not very sure about the stickers I'm using. But we're just going to go with it. After all, it is your artwork. And as long as you're happy, it should be fine. And it will be fine. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit too high. I would recommend adding some glue um, so that the stickers actually stay there longer. But I think these will be okay, except for this one right here. And I really like using my bone folders when I create. Okay. So, it doesn't actually look as good as I wanted it. I think I should have made this these a little bit lower. But that's fine. Um... I forgot which one I was going to use. I think it was this one. And I'm using one of the Tim Holtz sticker packet. It's um, Small Talk. I actually got this one on sale. I think maybe like three weeks ago maybe okay we are almost done with this page it's a very simple page um, I actually liked how it came out I feel like maybe I could have used much lighter colors but it's okay I enjoyed the progress or the process I'm not even sure if you guys can even read it. I actually spent quite some time trying to mess with, um, with my camera. 
Maybe it's because I'm looking at it from my view. Um, but I really hope that this page has inspired you guys to create, inspired you to use up a lot of your supplies, um, or maybe even make some sticks and write like paint, gelatos, watercolor, stuff like that so that you can use up your stuff. I'm actually not even done adding more um, but I don't want to have too many sticks in my little basket okay. so it says you are capable of becoming more than you realize I really like how this page came out. I feel like maybe I should take this off. Um, but yeah, I really actually enjoyed how it came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that if you um, played along, that you enjoyed what you created. And um, if you don't like it, it's okay to always leave it and come back another time. Um, but as long as you had fun, that is all that should really matter is that you enjoyed the process of just letting go, using your supplies, and just having fun. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!